So the Kings and the Lightning, and the puck drop is brought to you by Irvine Auto Center. Kopitar and Sorelli on the draw, and the Kings control. Byfield to the attacking line, got tied up. The Lightning the other way with the veteran Stamkos with a shot. Yeah, Stamkos, 542 games, quickly in the zone. Byfield to the net, a chance, save! Vasilevsky held his ground on Quinton Byfield. Yeah, we'll see that play right here again. Watch what happens. Daryl talked about Chernick falling, but Tampa Bay plays this like the Kings. You see the chaser, he goes after the puck carrier. That allows the defender, Dumba in that instance, to take away the cross pass. Give a... It looked like Roy and Gavrikov ended up switching positions there. Here is Point with a chance. Save made. Talbot came out to cut down the angle. Fiala lost an edge. And then the Lightning away with it. Kings have numbers coming back. A pass in front. Shot. Save is made in tight. Kevin Fiala goes down. It's just one of those things where you lose your footing. No big deal there. But JP down the middle. Watch. He gets the pass on his backhand. And that put him into a little bit more traffic. You'll see the stick of England becomes an issue. He has to shoot it quicker than he probably would have wanted to shoot it if he was able to take that on his forehand. 100 or more points in a season. And the puck to Kucherov. Centers in front. Chance. Chipped over the net. Point had the chance. Again, point. Save is made. A scramble. To keep the puck going. Gerald talked about it in our open. Just get open. Kucherov will find you. He found a couple of guys there. Philippe Deneau. Mm. Kopitar, by the way, when he got the 10-minute misconduct with everybody else on the ice, that's more minutes than he had in the previous 143 games, and they score! On cue, no misconduct, an assist, Kopitar to Kempe. one nothing. Because it's not necessarily clean. Right here, you see a little bit of miscommunication. There it is. There is the turnover. And all of a sudden, the Kings are able to swoop. And, and you know, you can see Tampa Bay there. I mentioned four check is one of the keys for the Kings. This is not necessarily a four check, but look at that pass. That is just perfectly placed on the stick. Kucherov, a league-high 45 power play points. They win the draw. Here's Kucherov down to the right circle at the goal line, looking, holding, fans on a shot or a pass. Then he scores! The first time he failed, but he stuck to it. And the game is tied with a power play goal at one. Now again, the Kings system is to allow those two-on-ones down low. Kucherov gets a bounce here. But this is one of the few players that can make you pay down low. You see the stick of, and yeah, just comes in once, twice. It's just a couple of hacks and whacks by point. Kucherov will end up getting an assist probably, but it was just about, you see how much room, just an inch inside, just. The point goal is unassisted. Power play goal with six seconds left in that period. Kopitar in the box for the hook. So now Fiala rims it around quickly to Roy, who hands it off up high to Moore. Things are going to change here, so they can't directly put the puck at the net, but now they're trying. And a shot from the blue line. Tip score! <laughs> Trevor Moore had the loose puck fall right at his feet. No chance for Vasilevsky. 2-1 to one LA. Stop here over at the side. Look at this. Guys are coming off, but guys are coming on. And look at all the time. The Lightning have numbers, but they can't find open men. Would the Kings have do well here? Get it to the net, right? Then you have hacks, you wax, ends up with an empty net. Matt Roy, the Kings defenseman, is involved again. He's the guy that is just off to the side here. And Dubois does a phenomenal job there. Chernak off the draw, a shot wide, the puck down the ice, chased down, no icing. Arvidsson won the race for LaFerriere. Centers in front, backhander, save is made off Dubois. Earlier on, Dubois between his own legs, just to the outside. And you can see, as Nick mentioned, you're so tight to the goaltender, you don't really have much room. Kings in the first couple of shifts of this period did a good job on the forecheck. Now here's Lazat, carries in on left wing, takes it to the net, a chance, save is made. 
And a lightning body wound up in on Vasilevsky. And Kucherov shot blocked by Anderson. Kucherov again with it. Feeds left side. One-timer glove by Talbot as the penalty to Lazat expires. The attack mentality. I'd say they had five, maybe six clear attempts at shots. The last one shanked against the flow going away. Kings have an advantage five on five, so keep the puck around the perimeter. But again, when you're in the defensive zone, if the opposition starts rolling pucks to the net, you never know one can bounce. So spend time at the other end if you can. Radish on the right wing boards sends it out to the blue line. Nobody there. Chase down Anderson. Two on one. Anderson in. Shoots. Scores. Mikey Anderson with a laser. the third they're up three to one you'll see the pinch right there and then whoa a little bit too much i think that was radish now watch this take the inside take the inside the ending ends up being perfect fundamentally watch the wrist shot here pull drag lean over the pad under the glove head up all the way headman's taking away the pass so you've got to take the shot under five minutes to play three to one la Duclair over the line, a pass chipped in deep. Duclair will chase it down, send it around for Point, who's still out there. Point at the goal line, feeds the middle, and they score! Stamkos let it go, set up by Braden Point. A power play goal, 3-2 L.A. Coming just as the clock elapsed on the power play. It's right there, we'll have to see it. Certainly, Laferriere does not have a chance. So Point gets it. You can see the body language of Stamkos. He has that stick cocked and it's ready. It's ready to shoot right away. So doesn't give the Kings a chance to set up. And that's exactly what the Lightning needed. That's a huge moment in a game. Where... A minute four left. Hedman a shot. Blocked. Loose in front. Cleared away by the Kings. Still loose. Comes out to the blue line. Broken stick here for one of the Kings. Yeah, Trevor Lewis, no stick. Close enough to the bench here if he gets a chance. Hedman for Kucherov. Kucherov cross ice shot. Score! Stamkos ties it with 45.8 left. Yeah, you just do it. You kind of do it. That's the way it goes. You, you just give them those opportunities. The Kings had chances to clear. Keep in mind with Kucherov. Now, again, there's the broken stick of Lewis. Is that a factor in the lane that will open up later for Kucherov? You can see it's going to come all the way to the other side. And Lewis not necessarily involved directly as far as the lane opening up. But of course, a stick would help him. You can see Kucherov, even though he's backing off, he's skating backwards. He's leaning backwards. He knows exactly where it's going. And Stamp goes two in a row. Moves back inside the Kings line. Ten seconds left for Anderson. They'll just play catch with it and get to overtime. Kopitar behind his own net. So a pair of Stamkos goals late here in the third period. Power. I'm surprised that neither one of those guys, and I know they're on their own side of their center ice red line, but they were on their forehand. They had a good look and they didn't go for the net. We start overtime. Kempe, Kopitar, and Gavrikov for LA. Stamkos, Sorelli, Chernak for Tampa. The Kings in overtime this year, three and six. Tampa four and six tied at three and here is Kempe to center ice plays it across speeding in a break to win it Gavrikov scores Vladi Gavrikov in overtime 25 seconds in the Kings win it four to three You'll see it takes him a while to get going. Is it going to be Stamkos that lets it? Yes, it is. The goal scorer who scored twice. His assignment up the ice is not to allow a defenseman to jump by him. And Stamkos, I give Gavrikov a lot of credit for his patience on the breakout. I know it's three on three, but it's one of Daryl's what to watch for. Clean breakouts. And Stamkos just bit. And then by this time, it's just too late. 
Hey, look at Tushirelli was one of the players out there as well.